Hello, hello. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's L here to do a reading. Yeah. Anyway, I was studying and then I was moved to do this reading. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every person that comes to this reading with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So I was doing a reading. I was getting like some messages. Um, so this reading is for the Aquarius. OK, you can have Aquarius anywhere in your chart. Um, Aquarius, I don't know. It's like. um. You might have humbled someone by way of, um, I don't know, how you responded to something or how you put away something you you did away with. You don't want to deal with anymore. You made somebody feel small. Pablo, Paul in English, little, small, humble, a boy name. So I don't know, it, it could be. You're into same sex and you, you did this in regards to another man or it's heterosexual and it, something about masculine energy. You made somebody feel small by way of taking yourself out of a situation where maybe you just weren't getting what you deserve. So you you responded in a way where it made somebody feel little. OK, but this is what is about to happen in regards to you doing this or maybe somebody doing this to you. I don't even know. Um, but what's about to happen is the king of cups in reverse. Um, this person is losing their composure. OK, the king of cups in reverse is really dangerous because it's about emotions and it's about the flaring up of emotion. This is a person who is not able to compose themselves. They're not able to really um, process their emotions accurately. This is someone who is coming up with devices, uh, scheming, planning, and this is all negative. It's not good. Um, upright, the King of Cups talks about manipulation in the reverse. Of course, it's going to be, you know, manipulation in regards to binding, maybe trying to bind you back to them or them to you or whatever, whomever is doing this energy, whether it's you Aquarius or someone else that you're dealing with. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male Libra, it could be anybody. Don't get caught up in the signs. Listen to the story. If it fits your life, then it's you. And then you, they could name, not name your sign one time in a reading. It, it could be your story. And because you're, you're caught up on a sign, you're not getting the message. So let's not get too caught up in that. Anyhow, um, this person is going to come at you very manipulative. They could be delving into the arts, um, you know, for we wrestle not against you know, flesh and blood, but spirits, you know, principalities in high places. Um, this person could even be governed by uh, demonic energy at this point. It's really not them. It's the energy behind them. And that's why when you start to get into praying and casting down and, um, you know, um, loosing, if you will, you want to talk to that spirit behind that person. It's not that any one person, you know, um, in the physical body is, um, you know, 100% negative. You can allow yourself to be used by negative energy. You can even seek it out. And we know people that do that, but this person could have put themselves in a place to where they can, they allow for seducing spirits to kind of take over them. And now they're in a real crazed energy, right? Um, this is somebody who, ego got bruised. I don't know if you rejected or you didn't answer or you, you, uh, respectfully bowed out of, you don't want to be a part of, you said, no, you gave no answer. I don't know. Whatever happened here, it caused for this energy to surface, maybe even resurface for some of you. And now you got this person wanting to this, do this to you, barge, move forcefully or roughly. Yeah, now they want to barge into your life or they want to barge back into your energy. You may feel like you're thinking about this person a lot or that you're dreaming about this person or that it's you. This could be them delving, delving into that art, the arts 
um, the art of seduction, the art of um, uh, her sexual arous arousal, so arousal, so they could be like, um, what is the word, masturbation and thinking about you. We've got um, photo photography here. They could be looking at your pictures. They all, what I also saw was like psychopath. So now you've got like some somebody who's you know um they have like a beeline or they want to make a beeline to you and barge in now because you did this to them made them feel small that and that energy behind them that demonic energy behind them also could be um hang on that card just fell could be feeling uh small too you something about fall. I don't know. This could have happened in the fall. We're in the fall season. If you're in the north, northern hemisphere, um, also maybe you let something fall apart. Maybe you just didn't give to it anymore. So somebody is um feeling like, okay, you want to play this game? I'm going to play another game. Um, let's let's talk about this a little bit more. I feel like some this is an energy that's trying to hold you up from rightful placement in the universe in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of light, right? Um, that energy behind this one particular person, right? It's really not the person. And when you start to look at people differently, you'll understand, look at people through the eyes of love, you know, um, through the eyes of love, meaning, that, you know, you, you, you see past the person, but you're understanding the energy working with them and against you. This could be, quote unquote, your adversary, your enemy. Enemy is just anybody, anything that is adverse to you, to light, to um, you, you moving ahead, to you uh, having a rightful inheritance in the earth. So that those people, that person, that job, that whatever is enemy to you okay so it looks like um this is like spiritual warfare and they're using one particular person to hold you up or a, a group of people we've got cancer pisces scorpio we've got somebody won't let you get over something that just came into my spirit or they keep bringing something up i don't know this is argumentative there's somebody who wants to argue with you if they can just keep you talking then they've got you this is how they feel um they're trying to barge forcefully back into your life, being rough with you because that's where they like you. They like you in the energy of low vibration because that's where they are. If you never ascend, you never get to the the actual duty, uh, will, um, path that you're supposed to take in this life. So you might even end up coming back if you believe in, you know, reincarnation. Um and this energy is trying to get you into that inner. They want you stagnant, stuck, and never ascending. Because some of you got a big call on your life, right? And um, that energy behind it, that negative vibration, that demonic energy wants to stagnate you so that you don't, of course, you don't ascend, right? And then you don't help others, you know, millions, if you will, of other people ascend. So they want to keep you low, okay? They want to keep you um, little. Um, they want to make you small. What else is happening here, Sphere? What else do you want to tell the Aquarius? This is not for you who don't feel like you have a call in your life. Who I don't know. Maybe you're still trying to figure it out. Um, it could be for you. I don't know. Star card. Wow, that just fell out into my hand. Um, so, yeah, this is about placement and perfection. Because there's seven stars around... Uh, the one big star also your placement in the cosmos in this in the universe okay ladybugs could be significant to you water this is about you pouring out into the earth into the world this is humanitarian some of you got a big call on your life once again you're going to help so many people and that that demon energy that demonic energy the adversary what is enemy too good bad evil wants to hold you back how can they hold you back by getting you, uh, you ravel up into frivolity, nonsense relationships that keep you stuck in and going to tarot card reader to tarot card reader to psychic to this person and that person to figure out if Johnny is your twin flame and is he cheating and is he coming back? You never start to ask the real questions of life and existence like why am I here? Who should I help? 
Where would I best be in service to humanity? If you, if you're still, it's the light is twitching in here. Ooh, they don't want the time. If you're, if you're, I'm um, in the energy of asking these um, repetitive, mundane, low vibrational questions, and you're stuck there, then you never ascend. You never, um, you never come out of that karma because the seven here, and then that's that one star eight. You never have transition. Um, you never come into newness, a new beginning. Okay, um, you never take your rightful place. You never come into perfection. You don't release the baggage from the past hurts. For life is not happening, um, you know, to you. It's happening for you. Yeah, that bad relationship. It. What did you do out of it? Did you pick yourself up and you transmute the energy and turn it into love and light? And I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Or did you just fall back into so it's just like the universe is wanting you to understand for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You think it's Johnny. You think it's Tammy. You think it's uh, Susie. You think it's uh, David. No, but it's the energy behind it. If they can keep you confused and frivolity and drama, for, for it says the days are, are, are evil, redeem the time. The days are evil, evil meaning lawless. And about frivolity. So if the adversary, if the enemy can keep you in an energy of lawlessness and frivolity, again, you'll never ascend. You'll never, um, you'll never come to knowing the kingdom of God and really coming into salvation. Whatever that looks like, whatever that means for you. You'll never have preservation of the mind. You'll always be confused. A person who is, who is in confusion is easily controlled. So the universe, not the universe, but the adversary, the enemy always wants to keep you in confusion. Oh, I'm so confused about how David feels about me. I'm so confused about John. I'm confused about Michael. I'm confused about Sally. I'm confused. Oh, so you never really come into a place of higher vibration and ascension. So um, that's what the universe wants you to do. They want you to also call on your guardian, your guardian angels. They want you to put on the armor of God. And those that is seven pieces of armor. So you need to guard your mind, the helmet of salvation. Okay. Um, you need to guard your heart, the breastplate of righteousness. Okay. Um, and then you need to, um, your feet, your feet need to be footed or fitted uh, in readiness uh, of peace and tranquility. So what that says is that you need to be so peaceful. You Peaceful is a way of life. It's not what you do. Uh, you don't have to turn it on and turn it off. No, peace is a way of life. They want you to be so peaceful that when the schemes and the devices of uh, the people who hate you, your family, your co-workers, this love partner that keeps coming back and in and out, when they come against you, when they come to you, you're resting in the energy of tranquility and peace, and you're going to be able to stand your ground. You already know where you are and what you're going to do. Therefore, there is no getting ready. It says the readiness of the gospel of peace, right? So you need to be in peace, all right? And the sword, the sword of truth, okay? I, I believe, oh no, it's the... um. I forget. It escapes me. Uh, it'll probably come back to me. But but you need to put on the whole armor of God because, you, again, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But th it's against principalities. We talked about the one demonic energy, Asmodeus, Asmo Ashmodai, um, who, who stalks in the month of November. We're in the month of November. He's all about lust and wrath. So it's all about people coming to you and lusting after you. It, it could be said that lust begets wrath, you know, because it looks like you may have turned something down or turned somebody down or maybe you didn't move. Right. And now they came at you, maybe lustful or um, or lusty. And now they're bad because you turned them down. They want to barge in. They're mad. Wrath. Let's see what else is going on here for the Aquarius. 
some of these people are really hindering you and you think it's you staying in it because you think it's like a twin flame or soulmate or you keep giving something chance after chance um for you are not god you, you know god is a god of a second chance not you you are you you are you of one chance right six of swords it's about moving forwards and then the ace of wands um this is Aquarius energy, so second deacon Aquarius. So this would be, uh, I think, like January 28th through like early February. Okay, don't quote me on that, but you can look it up. You can say, type in second deacon Aquarius, right? Deacon, D E C A N. All right, um, This is about you choosing peace and you moving on. Sometimes this is moving on, not getting what you thought you wanted. Sometimes this is moving on and maybe even shame. Okay? You didn't win. Oh, this was that other person. You were you might have rejected somebody, Aquarius. And this person, they don't like the fact that you're moving on in tranquility and peace. Okay, you're ready for peace. You're ready for calmness. You're moving away from those rough waters into tranquility, right? And now look what they're doing. Ace of Wands. Trying to pull you back in. They may have come at you lusty or lustful or something about action and reaction. Um, this is the devices. Something that they're doing also. They may be trying. To, you. This is moving on. So we got energy of moving on. And then we got the energy of somebody trying to start something up. This could even be new beginning. You could be ready for a new beginning. You could be taking action towards a new beginning. This could even be the spring. You could be having a new beginning. Whatever that looks like for you in, in the springtime. It says keep going. It says keep moving. Don't go backwards. It's nothing there for you. Let the dead bury the dead. It's over. It's done. You have won the battle. For victory is yours. The battle is not yours. All right. Uh, let's see. What is happening for the Aquarius? What else do you want to tell Aquarius spirit? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. This is a card I get sometimes when um, it's it's a person doing um, uh, black magic. I, you know, this is what I get. Um, so we got two kings coming out. One in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. And then the King of Pentacles upright. So this could be same-sex relationship for some of you and and then um this is also somebody here who's well versed in magic and the earth or using the earth earth arts or earth magic um this is somebody who's also very materialistic they have a big ego this is somebody who may have money they're not used to hearing no or being turned down this is somebody who um the King of Pentacles. This is the bull. The bull here. This something about Taurus. Okay, um, Taurus is in spring. Something about spring, new beginning for some of you. Maybe you'll be financially set. Also, something about holding up. Somebody trying to hold something up. In the Bible, there's a Bible story about, um, I think it was Daniel. It, it, I could be wrong. Uh, the angel was coming to Daniel. And um, he said, look, the angel told Daniel, your prayer had already been answered. But there was a demon that withheld your prayer for 21 days. I had to fight him for 21 days to get here. Some of you, I just got chills. Some of you, this is what's happening. For we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Whatever you're praying for, whatever you're hoping for, whatever you want, it's here for the taking. It's yours already, right? Um, the, the, it's already been administered, okay? It's already been answered. But there's a, a withholding. Somebody really don't want you to get this major wish fulfillment. The star card, the 11th house... Um, big wishes, big hopes, dreams, humanitarian, large groups of people. Once again, some of you all have something real big to offer the world, not just you. You're not just trying to get money for next month's rent and blah, blah, blah. And that's no offense to some of us who are in a place of, you know, um, just needing for needing right now and needing for ourselves. But um, for some of us, we're in the energy of I heard cosmos. I don't know. Cosmos. Something about ladybugs, cosmos, 
calendula. Okay. Yeah, some of you, this is the card I get for Earth Angel. Some of you are just that. Everybody wants to claim to be it. I don't, who, who knows how to verify it, right? I don't know. Um, do what you will with that. Uh, so we got somebody here who, you know, rules in the earth, in, in the material. And then we got somebody here who is going to have empire and rulership by way of God's hand. Because this is ascension to this is expertise in a field. Somebody studied hard and learned. We got the ram here and then the bull. Somebody could have, it could be about Aries, Taurus, North Node, Sun, Moon, Rising. I don't know, you know. Um, and then you got Aquarius here. This is power. This is somebody going to be sitting in the throne on a seat. Somebody is really powerful. You got a real strong power behind you. Could be God. This is also a card that I get for God. Um, somebody's in between two worlds, but in a good way. Like somebody easily transcend. I whoa. Somebody's got the scroll. Somebody's got the keys to death and hell. When you look that up, and you really delve into that, it'll mean a lot more than just what you've heard in sermon or in passing. I've been looking her up. The high priest is the popus. So before the pope, the man, there was a popus. There was a woman. Because the woman's energy is, she's the liaison, the go-between. Um, so divinity, God, woman, man. He ruled, man rules on earth, right? And he wants to make sure that he gets um, godly rulership, right? Um godly rulership so he has a woman the high priestess most times his woman who's tapped in to divinity that's why it's important for us ladies out here especially if you're in a heterosexual relationship but it could be same sex anyway uh, if you take on feminine energy right it's important for you to be tapped into something higher um, greater than you most times as god whatever you believe in it, it, you should have um, a level of spirituality about yourself and it should not be perverse. Okay. It should be of love and light. Like some of us claim, um, it should be just that because your man is looking to you because he's ruling here on the earth. God is ruling in the cosmos and you're the go between you're the liaison. But some of us women aren't tapped into anything but ourselves, hair, nails, uh, the car we drive, the bigger booty, the bigger tits. And you got two lawless beings, you know, if she's in the reverse, right? But she came in the upright. So some of you, um, you really tapped in. You got the scrolls to life. You got the keys to death and hell. Everybody wants that. And that's just really um, you being able to withstand uh, in this world. Because we're all going to go through trials and tribulation. How do you withstand um, by putting on the full armor of God? Look that up. Um, yeah, it's like you got some secret occult knowledge, hidden knowledge. You also know some things about a particular masculine energy. This could, I'm getting like in terms of sexuality too. Somebody's perverse in their sexuality. Damn, you got all these kings coming out. King of Wands. Uh, when you have a number of kings in your spread, this is also an indication of like good luck, good fortune. He's all about unexpected money coming to you also. Um, and if you're in business, this is definitely business deals going through. Yes, answers, approvals. This is um, in the occult tarot. The king of wands is Asmodeus. The demon that rules November. He's got his most power in November. He's about lust. Okay. Desire. And he is the king. His affirmation is, I desire or I want. You know, um, desire, wants can be kind of synonymous with lust. You know, I don't know. You put it all together, right? Um, somebody could be trying to manipulate. Yeah, this is definitely manipulation in regards to. Um, okay. All right. Thank you.
Okay, so what is barge? What is barge? The sun. Um, schemes of the de of the devil of the enemy is going to be revealed. Somebody like this barging in. Most times when you barge in, you don't barge in with a plan. It's all like raw emotion and action. Is and you're mad and you're just like. You made somebody mad, Aquarius, or they made you mad. And somebody is just, this is, uh, what is it, half cocked or um, maybe even half baked. Somebody's lost it or they're losing it. Somebody could even be trying to force you into sexual activity. Or this is, I don't know, for them, that's sealing the deal. Yeah, oh, sun and the moon. You, you and this person are complete opposites. This is feminine and masculine energy. Feminine, masculine. This could have been a good relationship if somebody would have gotten it together. If somebody would have ascended. What is the sun and the moon? It's like you both want the same, wanted the same thing or you want the same thing, but you were going about it in two different ways. Who was right? Who was wrong? I don't know. You don't get into that, but just know that it was, it was, you weren't on the same wavelength. You weren't in sync, in harmony. Are there any sixes? Six of swords. And the only six here was to balance it out by moving away from Deciding to move away from tough, rough um, work environment, love relationship, releasing the headache, not even the heartache, but the headache of a previous relationship. Let's see. What is the sun and the moon? Y'all kept missing each other. Sun rises, the moon comes up. It was just kept missing. It was so much in between to where you couldn't get in sync, in harmony. Yeah, it was like the universe was trying to bring two polar opposites together. I don't think it worked. Somebody didn't want to ascend. Someone didn't want to be guided into righteous uh, living, righteous activity, righteous um, right standing. Somebody does not like law, order, regimen, rule, structure. They like lawlessness. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody came into awareness. Christ consciousness. Understanding feminine and masculine energy. Knowing how to operate from both. Knowing when to operate from masculine. Knowing when to operate from feminine. This so this, some total of things happening to you are about response. You know, life is what, um, you know, what is it? Uh, it's not. It's 90% of what, what happens to you, but it's no, it's about 10% of what, what happens to you, but it's 90% of how you respond. I could be saying that backwards, but some of you responded in the past to situations, um, not in moderation. Not in a level head. This was some of you getting your life together. You've gotten it together or you're getting it together. Something about the reward here of understanding um, higher consciousness and coming out of base consciousness, base consciousness, materialism, the world, right? And you're coming into, um, you know, a higher level of consciousness. Um, you're about to get reward, recompense uh, for a hard job, a hard task. Some of your your family might expand here. It's like you're about to get something here. Patience and waiting. Angelic. Something about angels coming. Your angels are working for you. Yeah, some I told you hard work, eight of pentacles working on yourself. Something you did or you were doing. Um, okay. What what else do you want to tell the Aquarius?
full moon. So, so combustible. Somebody is um 110. Like somebody got a big secret too. Somebody knows somebody's secret too. Full moon. Like releasing combustible energy. Um whoa, yeah, that they suffering. Damn, because it's over. Somebody didn't really heal from maybe something being over. This could even be an actual death. Purple. Whoa. Somebody let something go and let something die. Okay, that's suffering. You, what is about to die is if you were in a level of kind of like um, hand to mouth and, you know, um, you know, feeling like you were getting just enough. That's about to die. That's over. You're about to come into knowing your rightful place. Placement. In the kingdom of God, in the universe, and you're about to come into a level of royalty, okay? Um, divinity. That's beautiful. You coming out of suffrage? You you've done enough, yeah? With the ten of cups, this is good fortune after difficulty. That energy is over. Um, let's leave you with some fortune. Telling cards for the future. Your future looks bright. It looks like stomping on the heads of your enemies. Anybody, everybody, not everybody, but anybody can be enemy to you. If they don't want what you want, if they don't want to see you ascend, if they don't want better for you, if they don't want love and light like they claim for you know for you, they're enemy to you. Point blank period. It could be your mother, it could be your father, it could be your own child. You know, um, so I don't know, stomping on the heads of your enemies, all by way of just understanding balance, true balance. You know, you you understanding the schemes and the devices of the enemy. Okay, you're coming to me lustful in the month of November. That Asmodeus Ashmodi energy. Okay, so I know I'm gonna withstand that. It's a no. Ooh, you done made the enemy mad, so they gotta go back and figure out another device that they can use to um, manipulate. And it could even be by way of family, friend, or anything else. But you understanding, you know, life is about your reaction. It's not about what happened. It's about how will you react to it. You need to always act in a level of balance and clarity and understanding that um, your salvation, what is it, the helmet of salvation right so protecting your mind protecting your mind how you think and, and then your actions what you do you know to fit it with you know um, the shoes of uh, the gospel of peace so you already know when war when chaos comes towards you you're resting in the energy of peace Therefore, you're going to withstand all the, the attacks, the, the schemes, the, the devices of the enemy. They can't get you if you're in this energy. It's the best card in the deck. I know other people say other cards are best card in the deck. Because this is where you want to be. It reduces to a five, too. So it's like you knowing how to overcome adversity. You mitigate them circumstances. Now you you move through them. And they're coming for all of us. What reigns on the just and unjust. But it's just about how you react to it. You know, are you, you know, like a roaring, a roaring lion? Or are you, are you just like, just frantic? Are you, also it's about faith and patience and trust. Trust is something that is divine. You already know that you're good. You have to really stand in that energy. It can be hard, okay? But you have to stand in that energy. That's the only way you're going to see ascension. All right, let's see. Un unexpected money, income coming to you. Unexpected income. So this is money that you're going to work for. Income is money that you did something for, okay? But it's going to be unexpected. You're like, oh, I didn't even know they wanted me to do their hair, cut their lawn, do their taxes, blah, 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 whatever. You know, and they, hey, it's unexpected. This could even be interpreted, if you read the book, uh, unexpected message or unexpected 
you know, event out of nowhere. Like maybe you, this person that's already mad coming back and they're coming back with a new trick. What else do we have? I can't make this shit up. Message of concern. Yeah. So this might even be an unexpected message. It could be unexpected money. Take it both ways, right? I don't need the money. And they can come with that unexpected message of concern because I could care less. And it's so funny because both of these are 14s, reduces to a 5. So what they're trying to do is 5 is Luciferian, right? They're trying to get you into a state of confusion. Therefore, then chaos. Therefore, then they can control you. But it's about how you react to it. All right. And this could come from family, friend, loved one, romantic partner, whomever. But they're trying to get you raveled into something. Entangled. Just say no. All right. Let's see what else is coming for the Aquarius in the near future. Okay. Yeah. Coffin. We had coffin come out. Suffer. Something is over. It's a, This is so funny. Didn't I just say, just say no? If you have this deck and you read the book, this card says um, it's a no-go. The answer is no. Like, whatever this, whomever comes at you with this unexpected message of, I don't know, them trying to, it could be anything, pour out their heart, lies, more lies, manipulation. It's just a no. It's dead. Let the dead bury the dead. Whoa, look what they're trying to come with. Bad health, that maybe they're in bad health and they're doing bad. I, I just heard like um uh possession. I don't know, they could be even uh, just giving themselves over to demonic possession here. Um they're not doing well, sleepless, restless nights. This can even be indicative of maybe again somebody really wanting to bid you, have sex with you. This card talks about a sexual um relationship or act activity or event this person is really i don't know it's like they're trying to for them that will be sealing the deal in regards to you guys being back together aquarius just say no you've got some great stuff on the way for you um it's just like you got some more test and the test is um, maybe even coming from those that you thought you loved or loved you at one time, but you're understanding that somebody was put in the way of in your life as a learning lesson to build your character, for you to understand who you are, for you to transmute that energy, for you to come in a higher vibration, for you to understand uh, base consciousness and higher consciousness or Christ consciousness, for you to understand yourself and your placement in the cosmos, in the universe. You've got good luck and good fortune on your side, but you've also got the adversary trying to hold it up. Think of the story of Daniel. Hey, the angel said, I was trying to get here. But I had to fight the demons for 21 days. I was coming with the blessing. But you're so great that I had to withstand the demonic energy because they really didn't want you to have this. So there's something for some of you, you got a big calling on your life. And that energy, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, it's not your mama, it's not your sister, not in totality, right? You talk to that energy behind mom and sister and or love one partner romantic it, it ain't them it's somebody who knows your vibration in the spiritual realm so they're holding something up or they're trying to hold it up because they know that you're going to affect the masses large groups of people humanity big wish fulfillment you get a big wish coming to you and it's not going to just be for you you and yours me and my kids and me and me and Big Daddy, you know, it's going to be, you know, it, it, you got something that you're trying to do. And it's where you understand placement. You understand. So this is somebody who understands that North Node now. And they're using it rightfully. And they're about to come into a high level of ascension. And it's about to manifest materially. For you can't do nothing in this world without money. Let me know what you can do without money. Yeah, I'll wait. Anyway, so it looks like the universe is about to bring you what you need so that you can be where you need to be so that a new cycle can happen for you and for those who you will touch and ultimately bring to um, awareness, God in, in flesh, 
you will bring them to God. You know, um, this is beautiful, Aquarius. Continue that prayer. Look up the armor of God. Put it all on, okay, each and every day. Um, pray over yourself. Don't be uh, fearful or worried about any energy for the battle is not yours. Um, it looks like it's already won. There's a wish standing, a holding. You continue to uh, keep yourself in the energy of knowing uh, um, the breastplate of righteousness. Be in right standing. You know it's not right if you're trying to have this major blessing from God. What you know, and um, but you, but you you out you know smoking and drinking and carrying on and you're you're operating in frivolity and lawless and you. You let the ex come back and do, you know, y'all do what y'all do here and there. And then uh, you have to clean some things up. Okay. If you're in that energy. So you got to put on the breastplate of righteousness. That's not, this is not right. In any form of religion, whether you want to take uh, Christianity or whatever, um, Buddhism, you know, you got to be clear, clear conscience. Clear, con clear heart, clear mind, clear conscience. Threes. You, you, and you can't be in that if you're operating in frivolity and lawless. For the days are evil. Redeem the time. The evil. Lawless and frivolity. What do you do? Most of us do. We wake up in the morning. We roll over to the phone. Operating it in lawlessness and frivolity and we're scrolling and we're liking and we're laughing and we're we're losing time it says redeem the time for the days are evil Make sure that you're operating in productivity it doesn't mean that you can never have fun that you can never unwind No, but it says be productive in your days for the days are evil It's all about lawlessness and frivolity and entertainment. That's why everywhere you look everywhere you go It's all about that. How who can best entertain you who can hold your um your attention span because you want to be entertained so anyway Aquarius um, that was for somebody but it looks like you got greatness on the horizon for you especially for some of you who've done the work some of you who are doing the work some of you are bedridden okay some of you about to have a baby just on another note might be even driven to the hospital might even be a little boy you got boy coming out some of you about to expand your family though I would talked about that earlier some of you could be Finding out that you're in the early stages of pregnancy also. All right, Aquarius, many blessings to you. Um, readings. I don't do them. Uh, not personal ones. Uh, I might hop on and answer some questions for you guys uh, for free. If you want to tip, you can tip. But no, I don't do it for money. So you won't be able to pay. Um, that's what I have for you. Many blessings to you. Go ahead and like the video and go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification so you know when I'm going live and I'm answering the questions for free, right? Boom. That's what we got. Many blessings to you. Take care. Happy holidays if you celebrate. All right.